Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on the Severe Weather Team blog for this installment of the Model Explainer segment. Of course, we're going to check out the GFS model and go through the next several days. Heading into the weekend, looks like things will start to warm up just a bit across the Alleghenies. We're going to start to see the flow or the basically the wind and pressure gradient in the atmosphere begin to relax just a bit and start to take on more of a zonal flow or a pattern that goes from basically west to east instead of a very strong northwesterly cold discharge that we had at the end of the week. So things are warming up just a bit as we get into the weekend. A couple of festivals going on. The Apple Cider Fest in Prince Galitzin. Also the Bedford Fall Foliage Festival kicks off this weekend. Sunday, same situation. A zonal flow, which means basically a dry westerly wind. Maybe even a little bit of a west-southwesterly component to it, helping to warm things up a little bit more. By Monday, strong storm system begins to take shape across parts of the western lakes. For us, it's a southwesterly wind, so even warmer temperatures pushing in for Monday. Looks like we'll get back up to right around seasonal levels for this time of year, maybe even a degree or two above that. By Tuesday, that storm system takes off and weakens off towards the north and east. And behind it, and down off to the south of it where we are, a weak front will push through, and with that, likely to be a few showers across parts of west central PA. Here's the precipitation surface map for Saturday afternoon. High pressure off to our north, but again, a relaxing flow. So we're going to see the heights or the upper level winds start to switch around just a bit to the west and the southwest, and warmer temperatures will start to come in as well. By Sunday, that plus 10 line at 3,000 feet, which means near seasonal temps, begins to move its way back up into Pennsylvania for Sunday. By Monday, it's off to our north, so temperatures a little bit above average. And by Tuesday, there comes that front, some light rainfall with it across parts of west central Pennsylvania. Thanks for joining us here on the blog.